Hey everyone, welcome to Sims Paradise. Um, if you guys remember the last time we were here, um, we kind of dealt with the whole, um, like, love triangle type of thing with Nicole, and we're going to continue with that today a little bit. Nicole, um, is absolutely drained. Obviously, she was just out at the wedding of Noah and Ace, but not only that, but she also... Um, is very uncomfortable because she's starting to have, like, a really, really upset stomach. She doesn't know what really happened, because remember, he, um, because remember what Lucas had done to her was he hallucinated it, her and then bit her. But she does know, now that he is a vampire, um, she doesn't know if she wants to confront him about it or not, um, or if there's any way to cure this. But she doesn't want to hurt her family at all. So she says she's going to take the arrest. And then she is going to do some serious searching tomorrow. And see if somehow there's a way for her to um, reverse this whole thing with vampires. So, it's really early in the morning, so I'm actually going to get everyone to go to sleep, and I'll kick this off once we get in the morning. Okay, so it's about 6 o'clock, Sims time. Um, it's actually a family reunion today, so, um... Everybody's going to kind of, um, join the holiday gathering type of thing. Um, Nicole actually is not. She's going to, like, fake sick type of thing to stay home because she doesn't want to get the family sick or anything like that. And I think that I have a place that I wanted to send them for the thing. And Nicole's also going to take care of little Jack, which, I mean... Yes, she is a vampire, but she can't really do anything to Jack right now. But I think she would kind of resist doing anything to Jack anyways. But anyways, I'll be back once we get to the family reunion. And then once we get back from the family reunion, we have to age up Jack and Catherine. And we'll be also um, dealing with something with Nicole as well. So, um, actually, Kiara and I are just at church right now. I just realized that that's kind of what I did. But that's fine. They can go to church. Um, and then once they get back from church, we can continue with the holiday thing here. Um, in the meantime, Nicole needs a shower. And all that. Jack's sleeping, so. Okay, so everybody's kind of back from the attending the, um, party, or church, I mean, and I think Catherine's going to come in, because one of the things that they have to do as adults is bake, so she's going to go ahead and bake some brownies. Meanwhile, Nicole is 
she's hungry, so she's going to come down here and eat her yogurt, and then, like I said, later on, we'll be uh, working with her for her other stuff. I think Kira and them are just gonna like, Kira's gonna practice her singing a little bit to kind of like bring, like help the kids enjoy the holidays that they're like celebrating, even though it's like family, singing about family. And so Nicole, she's like, she doesn't really understand, like, what she's supposed to do for the whole vampire thing. And so she's like, I don't know, like, I don't understand anything really about this. I don't know what I need to go. I need to go to Lucas and I need to confront him, first of all, and I need to ask him what I'm supposed to do. Because, I mean, I don't want to live like this. So, she is going to go ahead and travel on over to um, Lucas's place. And kind of ask for his advice, in a sense. And I'll be back once we get there. Okay, so she's here now, guys. Um, she's going to go ahead and knock on the door, obviously, to get inside. But she's going to talk to, actually, Lucas's parents. Because Lucas has pretty much been, like, ghosting her. And as soon as he's seen her here, he's, like, totally ignoring her every time she tries to ask him anything. So she's going to try to ask... His dad, like, is there any way of curing this? Because I don't want to be a vampire. And he said, I understand. Um, he said, when I was born into this, I really didn't want it either. He said, and I will be having a talk with Lucas about the situation. But, because there's a way that you could just get, but he worked the things out the wrong way. And I don't believe in drinking from um, humans. I believe drinking from plasma, from um, plasma fruits. However, you, if you don't want to be this life, that's fine. But, there's only really two ways to do it and that is one there's a special drink that can be made but you really have to do it correctly or it can cause um, even vampires to die or there's the sacrifice which means some mortal would have to sacrifice themselves or another vampire would have to sacrifice themselves in order for you to not become be a vampire anymore and to be reborn as a human 
So she's like, I don't know which one to do. I mean, because either way, it's, it's really bad, and someone's going to die either way. Um, and side note, guys, the drink does exist in Sims, but the whole, su the whole um, sacrifice thing, that is not actually a way to do it. It's just going to be a way I'm going to do it. Um, but we're just going to pretend that's the way it is. And so she doesn't really want to take the chances with the drink because it can kill you right away. But she doesn't really want to ask anybody to do the sacrifice as well. But she, so she doesn't know what to do. But she doesn't, all she does know is she doesn't want to be a vampire and she doesn't want to hurt her family. So, she doesn't know who or what to even remotely ask. So, she's thanking, she thanked uh, Chadwick, which is Lucas's dad, for the advice and knowledge that he's given her. And she's on her way. So, she has a lot to think about. Especially with the whole sacrifice thing, which is more likely the way she's going to have to go down the road with it. Um, we don't know who would even remotely do that. But only time will tell. Um, If you guys have any idea on who you think might be doing it, leave it in the comment section below. But, uh, I'll be back once we get there. And just as she gets home, Lucas is calling her and stating, Look, my dad, didn't t my dad did not tell you everything. I know that I'm the reason you're going through this, and I do feel bad about that. But I just wanted to let you know you need to go see... This woman, she is um, known for being um, the bearer of Supernatural. Um, she will be able to help you um, with this. I know I did something wrong, and I know you probably will never forgive me for what I did. But I think you need to go see her. Her name is Abigail so Nicole has plans on going to meet this Abigail person he gave her her address um, in the next episode but guys I know this one was kind of short and it was kind of like a little bit all over the place as well but it was also more so focused on the what Nicole was going to do with this whole vampire thing now. Um, obviously, she still needs some sort of sacrifice, which we'll be figuring that out today. Um, she's fully transforming into a vampire now, so definitely more than ever she, does she need that sacrifice. And, uh, so she's talking to some family members and Matt and Kiara, she said, listen, I know what's going on with you. I know what happened. Uh, Jessica has been telling me and I've been looking up online and I know What's needed to um, happen in order to get us back or get you back to the regular way you were. And I just want you to know, if it comes down to it, I'll be happy to be that person. I know I have Jack, but I know that Jack will be in good hands with you and Catherine. So, Nicole obviously is very, like stress because she doesn't she obviously doesn't want that to happen like she doesn't want it to be um Kiara that does it but anyways 
we're going to go ahead and end it out here. Kiara has stepped up and said that she will be the one that does it. But also, we have to age them up. I almost forgot. So, let me do that real quick. But, like I was stating, Kiara has stated that she will be the one that steps up and does every, like, the sacrifice. She said that she doesn't want anybody else to know about the whole situation. Um, the only people that do know is obviously Jessica. But Jessica... And doesn't know about the sacrifice or anything like that. She doesn't know that Nicole has become a vampire. The only one that knows Nicole is a vampire is Kiara. Um, because obviously Kiara just seen the whole thing with the vampire thing also. But we're going to age up Jack as well as Catherine. And um, I'll show you Jack's new outfits once we are done. But then I'll go ahead and end this one out. And I'll see you guys all for another episode of Sims Paradise. Which, guys, I will be doing another episode of Sims Paradise on Friday. Which means Sims Family Life will not be happening this week. It will be next week. I apologize. I know Sims Family Life has not been around for quite some time. But Sims Paradise, I kind of want this to be a big thing and it will be a big be a big thing so that's why i neglected on doing that so sims paradise will be on friday as well so i'll be back with this gang on friday but i'll be back for tomorrow for a video of the week and then thursday will be the celebrity warfare tournament and then Friday will be another Sims Paradise, and Saturday will be Return of the Dog Pound and Return of Sims out on their own. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll show you guys Jack's thing once they're done. So give me a minute. Okay, so this is Jack's everyday look. His formal. His athletic. His sleepwear. Party wear. Hot or swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. And then I wanted to also show you how Catherine looks now that she aged up as well. Because it was her birthday as well. So Catherine really didn't change much. Just her hair color pretty much. Um, and I'll see you guys all next week. Or actually I'll see you guys all Friday for another Sims Paradise. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace.